Here's example 16 in mathematical proof. We've been working through a few examples on sigma notation and evaluating series using the formulae for sigma k, sigma k squared, sigma, sigma k cubed. If you haven't seen examples 14 and 15, then please go and check them out. So this one's slightly different because um, we're actually starting our series when k is 10. Now, all of the formulae require uh, k to be 1 or the first term to be 1. So when we're saying that uh, sigma k equals uh, n up to n is n times n plus 1 over 2, it's really important that we're starting from 1 and all of the formulae go along that, follow that premise. So it's a bit difficult when we can't just automatically jump in at 10. So here's the theory behind it. What we need to do is to, uh, to first of all calculate the, the value of a series that goes from 1 to 20. Okay, And then we need to consider a second one, which goes from 1 to just before the value that we were working with, which we're wanting to start at 10. So in other words, we're wanting to think about what the value would be of the series from 1 to 9, which means that the difference between the two Okay, is actually the value that we're looking for. So we're looking effectively for the difference. So the, the, we can say that sigma, uh, whatever it is from k equals 10 to 20, is equal to the value of the series from k equals 1 to 20 minus the value of the series from 1 to 9. Not 10. It would be quite understandable if you... Uh, decided to use 10 uh, as the, the, the highest value that we're going to subtract, but you can't because we want to start at 10, so we're considering all the values from 1 to 9. So we have to split this up into two. So the first part is we're going to work out sigma k squared plus 2k minus 3 from k equals 1 to 20. Let's do the whole thing first of all. Um, so we're splitting that up. We've got k squared, so that's good. And we want two lots of sigma k, from k equals 1 to 20. And we've got 20 lots of negative 3. So, uh, just jumping straight in with the formulae, I think, uh, with the substitution. We've got the k squared, so that's n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over 6, plus 2 times the formula for sigma k is n times n plus 1 over 2 minus 60. Uh, that gives me 2,870 plus 420 minus 60, which gives my total value of 3,230. Just a bit of number crunching there. And then what we're going to do, we're going to keep that up so that you can refer to it. Uh, we're going to work out uh, the second one is sigma x, or oh, sorry, not x, sigma k squared plus 2k minus 3 from k equals 1 to 9. So we've already kind of broken it up there, uh, but I'll just remind you. So we're going k squared from 1 to 9 plus 2 lots sigma k, so k equals 1 to 9, plus 9 lots of negative 3. So that gives us k squared formula is 9 multiplied by 10, one more over, oops, sorry, wrong one. So k squared formula is n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over 6, plus 2 lots of 9 times 10 over 2, that's sigma k, minus 27. And what have we got? 9 times 6 times, ni 9 times 10 times 19 is 285, plus 90, minus 27 gives us a value of 348. Okay, so going right back up to the diagram at the top, that's basically 3,230. 
Uh, the value from 1 to 9 is 348. So we're looking for the difference between those two. So we can say that sigma is k squared plus 2k minus 3 from k equals 10 to 20 is 3230 minus 348, which gives us a grand value of 2882. So be careful if the first value of k is not 1, you're going to have to do two different values and find the difference between them. Okay, hope that makes sense. You've now mastered uh, sigma notation and we can move on with confidence to the last type of proof, proof by induction.